Good morning. Welcome, Samantha Rose. Should we say it? Good afternoon. <laughs> I thought you were calling me Samantha Rushka. <laughs> well, like good. Uh. <laughs> it's Ephesians 4 today. It sure is. And Sam, mm. last night on, I went to the bathroom and guess what I was out of? What? Shampoo. I just Ooh, thought, oh, <laughs> let me just backtrack. I've seen some girls on YouTube talk about some shampoo. And guess what? Oh, hang on. There's more. <laughs> I feel like I've got oh, volume. it's really shiny. I've got volume again. Well, look at it. I have a mane. What? Natural Harry shampoo works. With no Shakira powder. How? <laughs> It's great. It so works. So please try it unless you don't and like look, this look. Mine's all but still here as well. <laughs> it hasn't fallen out. <laughs> hasn't fallen out. So. so before we read Ephesians chapter oh. 4, we'd like to talk to you about making some lavender laundry liquid. Yeah. So this is just some little dregs that I had because I've put it in another um, container. Right. So thanks, Natural Harry, again. So in here we've got 160 grams of... Washing soda. You might remember this from your Nan's laundry electric <laughs> washing soda. What a name. So there's a little recipe on the back there that you can use, apparently, as seen on a current affair, <laughs> miracle spray. Okay. So I don't know if it's mentioned in the Bible, but it has been on a current affair. So um, so it's, it's just a concentrated cleaning product. It's just sodium carbonate. It's a natural thing. Great. So... There's that, yep. um, 160 grams of this old guy you've seen before as well. Pour him in. Um, 45 grams of that. Great. Bring out the old sow suds we've spoken about before, 125 mils of that. Yeah. Which is about half a cup. And we've and got then, water in here. And then a litre of water. Mm -hmm. Filtered. Filtered. Mm -hmm. And I've got lavender because that's what I have an excess of and I like the smell of it. But I really would love eucalyptus. So oh, yes. about 15 drops of oil of your choice. Great. Shake it all up. Probably something that you're not allergic to, though, because you're going to be putting it on your clothing. Good one. So if you happen to be allergic to lavender, choose something different. Um, and just you can see how it's kind of settled in the bottom there. So just give it a shake. And then about 60 mils of that in a wash. Great. So it is an instrument. Careful, I'm worried about you. I just won't go near the computer. I've already stuffed that up once. Uh, and then you have a great time doing your washing. Yeah. Because it's fun. It's fun. Whoops. <laughs> Why am I always making a mess? It's fine. I brought that one specifically that wasn't opened yet. So okay. it's just proof. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4. Would you you like? go. Okay, I will. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you you that ye work worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called oh, oh. with all lowliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another in love i need to read properly don't That's i it's right. kind of important endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace there is one body and one spirit even as ye are called in one hope of your calling one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all oil <laughs> father of all who is above all and through all and in you all but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of christ wherefore he saith when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men now that he ascended what is it but that he also descended first into the lower into the lower parts of the earth he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. 
but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk, walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Who being past feeling have given themselves over into lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Yes. To work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That ye, oh, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. We just need a moment of silence for that chapter, don't we? Yes. I mean, how much more good can it get? It. it, it uh, I'm. Uh, I'm almost speechless. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot I can learn from two verses, let alone how many were you? 32. So firstly, I would just like to say, so it's building on from yesterday's chapter where everything's fitly built mm -hmm. together. The, um, the building, the, the perfect. Building. Hang on, was that yesterday or the day before? That was the day before. Oh, but it is building on that. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. No. Um, building all together. Where is it saying that? Because um, we were talking about the mystery mainly yesterday. Mm. Yeah, so yes. So Building, it's the body. Walking, workmanship. The Holy Spirit. We, we were talking yesterday about the mystery being Jesus living in us. Yes. So he's been dispersed, if you like, into all of his body. Mm -hmm. We all have a little piece of Jesus in us. Wow. And and when he when he descended into hell and ascended keys, again up even above all the other heavens so we've been talking about the third heaven yes. so he's ascended even higher than that wow. it sounds like and then he's come back down and filled us all up where does it say that i've lost it um uh 10 10 yes <laughs> so he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all, all things, things. And then some apostles, some prophets. So these are gifts. Yes, that's right. That we're given through the Holy Spirit. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Not just for mucking around, not just for our own entertainment, <laughs> no. but for the edification of the body. That's right. Not to pull in a crowd. It has a much bigger purpose than all of that. And help us to become unto a perfect man, which is... We have the perfect word of God here. And once we're reading that and that's going into us, that's what makes us perfect. Not perfect yeah. like the world calls it, but complete. That's what this perfection means. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles. 
No. So there must they have walk been in the vanity of their mind. There must have been not much of a distinction between those in the body of Christ and those that didn't know Christ yeah. and the way they were walking, which you can see today. I mean, I was just talking to a gentleman in the car park just before we started filming this, and um, I invited him to farm church because, you know, why wouldn't we? What's his name? Uh, his name's Steve Nash. He's not the basketball player. <laughs> Sorry to give your whole identity away, Steve There's Nash. There's a few of you out there. But I want to just say this. Every single one, single one of us that has lived, you know, enough years, not just little kid babyish, but like, you know, growing We've had time to look around, to see creation, to have some life experience. And we need to know the truth. We need to know what we believe. We've been given time on this earth. We should be confident enough to say what we believe. And, um, and it's not so because the church messes most of the part. The church can really mess up someone's walk. Mm. And, um, and I'm included. Like I've been on both sides of it. I've led people thinking that I was saying, teaching them the right thing in the word mm. and I was misleaded, misled and misled others and thank God that he's full of forgiveness and he can show us the truth and we can now teach what is true and we're teaching you ladies out here by the way, ladies and children. If you know, we want men to make sure they're listening to other men teach. Be in the word yourself. We know a couple of good ones. Good ones. Oh, good men. Yes, we do. We know quite a few great men that love the Lord and love his word. But um, this is what can happen, right? We can have churches that walk like the world. Yeah. And so many instances I have conversations with people and they say the church was no different to the world. Mm. So why would there's hypocrites everywhere? Why yeah. would I want to go to a church? Yeah, I get it. Yep. I get it. The body of Christ is not meant to behave like that. We are meant to be different. We're meant to have unity. We're meant to have Christ as our head. Like you were talking about the spirit coming and mm. indwelling. Yeah. There should be there should be some differences going on there, hey? So from what you were just talking about then, so vor, 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 no. uh, from whom the whole body fitly joined together, we said that already, impacted which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working oh hang on no, I've gone too far it's verse 14 that we henceforth be no more children mm -hmm. tossed to and fro yeah. carried about with every wind of doctrine yeah. by the slight of men and yeah. cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive yeah so this is people actively trying to stop you from knowing the truth that's right why why would you do that these are men's tricks Yes. This is where denominations come in. That's right. Because the word of God is very clear. As we've yes. been reading it, rightly divided, it makes sense. So much sense. There's nothing to be confused about in here. No. Um, it's men that make it confusing. True story. That's true story. Men and women, when we say yep. men. Yes. Yep. It's, um, yeah. So we've got to put off formal conversation with the old men and it's corrupt and deceitful lusts and be renewed by the spirit of our mind. <coughs> How do me. you do that, Sam? How do you renew your spirit and I your mind? I read the Bible. I read the Bible. I pray to have understanding. I pray to have discernment. Great. I ask my husband. Yeah. I ask your husband. Yeah, and I ask um, yours. And, and sometimes even. fellowship. Yes, that's the that's thing. That's a massive, yes. massive part. Yeah, I'm choking on my <coughs> your Something. almonds, your maca yes, you almonds. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need us? <laughs> we might have a question. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Now that you're here there? and you've interrupted, <clears throat> come and say hi. <laughs> How do you renew your mind, Darren? You renew your mind by daily reading the scriptures. <laughs> Is that all? And being part of the body of Christ means that you have to do your part. Yes. And build the unity, which builds the renewing of your mind. That's so true. Bless you. Did you want something else? <laughs> We're just checking if we can make noise. You should make noise. The people, this is our life. This is what we do. We read the Bible in real life. <laughs> no editing. Carry on. <laughs> Um, how about the instructions of what we're to put away 
No more lying. Where? Don't Show me be where it angry. Is. Oh, well, you can be angry, but don't sin. Um, okay, so we're going verse 25. Verse 25. Wherefore, putting away lying. Don't do it anymore. You know what? If you think, oh, so-and-so happened, like, you know, in situations. I don't know. I'm just making this up. And you tell what they call a white lie. Don't do it. Like, yeah. just tell the truth. It's, you know, you're convicted in there. You're like, oh, gee, that was not what I should have said. And 26 is saying being angry 26. isn't a sin. No. But don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. And don't don't sleep sin in, in it. Right. Don't sin in your anger. Oh, so don't, you know, tweak someone's nose, <laughs> poke <laughs> them in the eye. Um, no, don't. Yeah, because the thing is that we should be angry about things. Yeah, like, right. You know, God says to hate what I hate mm. and love what I love. So if that is the case, we should be angry about Turning the tables at the market. That's right. People are trying to profit from the Gospels. Bad idea. Um, yeah. Neither give place to the devil. He's not welcome at my table. No, but if you open the door a little crack, then he will wriggle his way in. But if you're renewed in the word, you can notice those deceitful, sneaky, crafty tricksters. Yes. <clears throat> and you can shun that profane babbling and yep. not be tossed from every wind of doctrine. No. Um, don't steal anymore. Work with your hands. Don't let any corrupt communication come out of your mouth. I love that. That's such an important one for yes, me. Yes, put it all away. Yes, it's important for all of us. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another. Even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Like, how could you How could you dare not forgive someone <clears throat> considering what Christ has done? That's right. For us. Oh, um, what a great verse to actually end the whole chapter yeah. in. Yeah. Such a great reminder. Remember when Jesus is on the cross, you know, I mean, how awful that would have been that moment, you know, and God says, Jesus says, who is God father forgive them for they know not what they yeah. do like he felt it all yeah. yet he still said that from the cross yeah you know what I I have noticed since I became a Christian I I used to before have feelings like in my heart of angry bitter unforgiveness of myself as well like yeah. guilt guilt um, and you know, for the people who say that being religious or having a religion, being a Christian is restrictive, it's not, it's such a freedom to have all that yeah. weight lifted to know, and you can feel that weight lift. Like I feel yeah. it now in my heart. I sometimes go searching in there and think, is there any unforgiveness wow. lur lurking in there that I have to dig out? But there's not like it's, li it's literally all gone. Because Jesus, because Jesus. Because Jesus. <laughs> Just because Jesus. And because you're a free woman now. You're not a bond servant. No. You're not under bondage. It's So why wouldn't everyone want that? There are so many people who, yeah. you know, you see them walking around. You've been out today. I've been out. Yes. And you see people walking around with carrying the weight yeah. of their lives, their yeah. family yeah. issues on, on their backs, on yeah. their faces. And yeah. You just want them. You want them set free. Yeah. And and not just for their sake, but also Christ's sake. He would have it that none would perish. Mm. So how do we get saved, Sam? If someone out there today doesn't doesn't think that they know who Jesus is and they're, they're not saved, they don't, they don't know if they're going to heaven. Yeah. What do you they do? Just believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. Yeah. That without him... We would still be sinners. Yeah. He rose again. Yeah. And what else is that all? Yeah. And <laughs> and he's forgiven you of your sin. Yeah. And so you put your full trust in him, his finished work on the cross, and, and you're set free. And that's as simple as it is. Yeah. You don't have to walk down an aisle of a church. You don't have to sp say, a prayer. say a certain prayer. Or do a cross Do sign. none of that. It's not of your works. It's nothing that you could just... Do it's all you have to do is just believe in faith. You don't need to speak to any man about it. No, no, you don't. But we would encourage you if you have 
if you make that decision now or if you have made that decision, you should find some people that you can Definitely. fellowship with that believe the word of God. Get that, a King James Bible. That's right. And, and read, read it. it. Start at Romans and work your way through and and talk to your family about this. Like the reality is that our life will end at some time. All of our lives will end. And we're either going to go to heaven to be with the Lord forever or we're going to go to hell mm -hmm. to be away from the Lord forever with eternal torment, and which darkness. is not even designed for humans to go to. It was designed for the devil and his demonic angels. Mm -hmm. But this is what happens if you don't, I mean, God can't look at sin. So when we believe, he doesn't see sinners in us anymore. He sees Jesus. Mm. And that takes away that that eternal, what was going to be. Magic cleaning. <laughs> It's it's supernatural. Not, supernatural. <laughs> now I'm scared that's going to open <laughs> on my new hair. No, but like in all honesty, like that's as simple as it is. It'll wash you clean. And sure, there's going to be a journey ahead and there's mm. lots to learn. Yeah, always. But it's not scary. And like you said, the lift, it yeah. comes off you. And you don't have to do it alone. You know, we're here if you have questions and we can connect you with people. Absolutely. It's Who? a body. It's a body of Christ. Exactly. Have a great day and we will see you tomorrow for Ephesians chapter five. <gasps> too many. <laughs> I'm too eager. Have a great day. Wash yourself in the word. Yes. Bye. Bye.